from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventure. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. Welcome to Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. Today we're meeting up with Americana Outdoors staff member, Jeff Reynolds, on a deer hunt with the all new Thompson Center Strike muzzle loader. Then we're seeing what's cooking in the Bradley smoker. But first, we're meeting back up with the Garmin team to continue their duck hunt on the Texas coast. We went out the first morning and, and you know, it's always that first hunt you're excited about, you're not entirely sure what you're getting into. Sally made us feel really, really at home. A very, very gracious host, very knowledgeable. So we hunted on the Kennedy side of the ranch uh, this first morning, and, and as soon as Sally left in the boat to go ditch the boat, uh, ducks started coming in. We had Kelly, who was a seven-year-old uh, black lab, and she was a real sweetheart. She loved to do what she was doing. She retrieved a whole bunch of ducks for us. Um, pretty much every duck that fell, uh, she went after with a lot of gusto, came straight back. It, it was neat seeing her work, and I'm always really proud that you know she's wearing a Tritronics collar. On the second day, we hunted with Marcus, and, and the weather, uh, a front came in. So instead of a southeast wind, it, it came more or less straight out of the north. And, um, you know, that changes tactics and that changes location. So, so we moved to the other side of the bay, uh, hunted off of the uh, King Ranch side. Watch yourself, watch yourself, watch yourself. <laughs> Good job, Jet. Good job. We're on the board. We're on the board. Jet here. That's it, Jet. Jet. Good Shortest girl. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> nice Very spring. nice. Very nice. <laughs> no blame. Weather feels more like fishing weather than duck weather anyway, doesn't it, girl? I mean, you didn't have much opportunity to retrieve today, did you? On this particular day, uh, we had Joe Genzel uh, from Gundog and Wildfowl magazine, and we had Steve Smith, who's one of my co-workers at Garmin, uh, as well as uh, Aubrey, who was guiding us. And uh, it was a great group, you know, from the get-go, uh, we really hit it off together. And it was a neat group of guys, and Aubrey was, was, uh, was always fun to, to hear his, his uh, commentary on anything and everything. So it was a, it was a great time, uh, just out, you know, ducks aside. We got to our first spot this morning, and uh, with the fine crew that I had, we got out of the boat real quick. We had the decoys set up in no time. The dogs were already hunting before I ever even, even got back to the blind. So after I parked the boat and came back, everybody was, uh, was set up. And right off the bat, it turned into Pintail City. You know, with Aubrey, it was, it was nice because there was typically the protocol where we would, we would sit there as still as possible. And uh, we'd, we'd wait until Aubrey uh, called the birds. And that, uh, that seemed to work really well. Um, you know, I'm, I'm always a safe shooter, and I'd rather have fewer guns up there uh, than more and, and, and cause any sort of problems. Because we are in a, a fairly tight space, and that's something you've got to kind of watch when you're uh, waterfowl hunting. Um, but, you know, Aubrey is really good at, at making sure that we all had shots before he called it, making sure that they were in as close as they were going to get. Take a point. We'll be right back with more Coastal Duck Hunt in Baffin Bay, Texas. It's in our stomping grounds 
and our playground. It's in our sights and our commitment. It's in him, it was in them, and it will continue with her. It's in my nature. Is it in yours? Gil, that I've used for the last five years, has been a far superior product than anything else on the market. The main thing that's really important to me is me being dry. I've been wearing Gill suits now for three years and never once have I gotten wet. What I love about the Bradley Smoker is that it cooks everything perfectly and it holds all the juices in. So today we are going to be smoking some barbecue ribs, some venison sausage, and some dove, which is awesome. You will never grill me doves again. <laughs> I have to have them in the Bradley Smoker. I would prefer to use the Bradley Smoker every time I cook. Well, that's really true because I love this thing. Okay. No lie. For more recipes, log on to bradleysmoker.com. Engineered to excel, the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series are built for the ultimate ownership experience. It's a commitment to excellence packed with real world advantages and exclusive features. Experience the accelerated performance standards of the legendary Ranger Z series. From first light to last cast, they're put together to set you apart. Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. At Yamaha, reliability is a family tradition. Meet the next generation. Four new advanced technology inspired inline four cylinder performers. Bred from the reliability and boater satisfaction that is part of Yamaha's DNA, they prove that when power gets lighter, faster, stronger, and smarter, boating gets even better and more satisfying for boaters like you. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin is brought to you by Cabela's. It's in your nature. Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. Bradley Smoker, food smoking made easy. And by Yamaha Marine, reliability starts here. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Today we're down at Baffin Bay on the Texas coast, joining the Garmin team on a duck hunt. You know, it was, it was really fun using the verbs uh, on this trip. Uh, we used them for everything, just from, you know, from simple uh, wide shots, uh, to dog vests where we're putting a verb on the back of a dog and uh, getting a retrieve from their view. Uh, we're using them on our gun barrels. Uh, that's the great thing about the verb, uh, whether it's for duck hunting or, or any of your outdoor adventures. I mean, you, you can really put a camera and document and experience your hunt from a, a viewpoint that, that most people never see. I had two dogs with us today. I brought my 11-year-old lab, Roxy, and we had my one-and-a-half-year-old lab, Jet with us. So we had uh, the young pup and the old dog. That was an interesting dynamic. The two dogs are uh, related by blood and, and uh, you know, it's fun seeing the two of them because Roxy was obviously the, uh, the senior citizen of the group and, and with that comes you know a little respect and, and uh, she made sure that Jet showed her some respect. And Jet usually beat Roxy did the retrieves but um, Roxy would, would kind of you know step in and, and, and pull that uh, Pull that duck, you know, gently aside and just say, I'm gonna take it from here. Thanks, kid. Jet was a gift from God to Sally and I. We got Jet a, a month before our home and lodge burned down and did not actually have a chance to train her the way we wanted to. But we got her from an extremely good breeder in Houston. This dog actually got zero training and turned out to be just a prodigy. She went on a couple of hunts with my old dog and instantly just started picking things up. Take them. You know, we had four hunters and we ended up today with our limit of pintails. So we had uh, eight pintails in total. You know, you're allowed six, six birds today with uh, the most amount of pintails you can have is two per person. So we, uh, we did end up with our limit of pintails. Our home and lodge burned down about a year and a half ago and we're in the process of rebuilding right now and we're really close to opening. Probably by the time this makes it around to the airwaves, we'll probably be open and running. Really excited about having that going. And really excited to be married to the best fishing guy too. This is a little short Polish one. 
Everybody always says, what's it like having two captains under one roof? And I always say, there's only one captain. She's the admiral. Log on to Garmin.com for more information on the complete lineup of Garmin Verb Action Cameras or any of the fine Garmin navigational products. Now let's head a little further north to meet up with Jeff Reynolds as he breaks out the new Thompson Center Strike muzzle loader in search of a big white tail buck. On this hunt, what we're actually hunting is uh, just a draw that comes up a hill. Got a pond right across from us, you know, about 70, 80 yards. There's a live oak tree that's just got acorns everywhere in it. They're dropping, the deer are hitting it hard, and it's actually pinched between us and the pond. So in order for them deer to get by us, I mean, they got to get within 60, 70 yards to go up this hill where they're traveling. So I mean, we're in the perfect spot. You know, we know we're going to see deer. It's just a matter of getting the right one in. It's typical Texas weather, you know, it's, it's pretty hot, you know, uh, it's dry. And we get set up, we know we're in the stand pretty early, we want to get everything set up and, you know, let it all settle down and get quiet before, the, you know, started getting later in the evening when we're expecting these deer to move. And sure enough, 30 minutes into the hunt, we have a nice looking eight point come in, just a three year old deer, you know, too young to shoot, comes out, you know, poses for us, Typical hunting, you know, the deer that you don't want to shoot is just standing out there, posing in front of you, playing around, eating. Uh, seen another really nice 10 point. He come in, but the wind was was kind of going right right in front of him, where he was headed to. I knew he was fixing to get our wind. Sure enough, you know, he gets up there and he just stops. He's frozen, he don't see us. I mean, he's just looking around, and he's actually looking ahead of him because he come in right behind that, that three-year-old. I know he smells something. You can just tell by the way, you know, them, them big deer, if they get a whip of something, they're not gonna take any chances. He looks around and he sat there for probably five minutes and then turned around and went back the same way he came. You know, as it started getting later in the evening, I'm thinking, man, is this gonna happen or not? You know, I, my first day of hunting, I've been looking forward to this all year long. Where's the deer? Where, where's, where's my shooter at? You know, I'm ready. As we're sitting there, it's probably an hour before dark. And we look way off in the distance and Scott actually spots a deer that's moving across just kind of down in this almost looks like a valley just kind of a low spot down in there and uh, couldn't tell a whole lot about him he's still probably 250 yards away and just kind of moving in and out of the mesquites and and we get a good look at him and, and Scott likes oh yeah I got him I'm, I got him in the camera he's a mature deer so it's game on then when we return, we'll see if Jeff can harvest a buck with his new Thompson Center Strike muzzle loader. Let's get down to business. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I, I'm switching sonar. Why? Because uh, now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. Woo! Oh, nice shot. You put the cool in life. We put the cool in coolers. Arctic ice. The Bubba Blade is the ultimate sportsman's knife. For fishing. One cut and you're through, guys, kind of like butter. Just like butter. Hunting. You can see it just took that right off. Camping. Or just carving up meat at the barbecue. If you've got a sportsman in the family, they're gonna wanna have a Bubba Blade knife. The super sharp edge and the large patented handle that gets sticky when wet makes the Bubba Blade a perfect sportsman's knife. The handle protects your hands from the blade and the trigger grip and thumb pads let you have total control of the knife. The Bubba Blade comes in different styles and sizes to fit the need of every sportsman. So whether it's for the boat, hunting, camping, or just for slicing meat at a barbecue, the Bubba Blade is the ultimate knife for the sportsman. 
Go online at BubbaBlade.com to order your Bubba Blade today. At Amphibia, we've resolved to build a product that nobody else offers using methods that nobody else is using, optimized for life on water and land. The choice of top bass fishing pros. Amphibia frames are designed to fit comfortably no matter how your face is shaped, to stay firmly in place through your most physical activities and to float in water. Amphibia sunglasses are truly designed for life on the water. Heavy duty, rugged, and designed for the big game hunter and angler. The Food Saver Game Saver Titanium Vacuum Sealer has the power and performance to seal in the freshness of your game and fish for up to three years, five times longer than standard storage methods. And with its extra wide dual and repetitive sealing capabilities, that's a ton of big game savings. Tough tested and rated 4.8 out of five stars by outdoorsmen just like you. The Food Saver Titanium System, it's a true game changer. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time, Thompson Center, America's master gun maker, and by Hi Viz. See what you've been missing. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Today we're on a deer hunt with Jeff Reynolds and his new Thompson Center Strike muzzle loader. You know, as it started getting later in the evening, I'm thinking, man, is this gonna happen or not? You know, I've, my first day of hunting, I've been looking forward to this all year long. And as we're sitting there, it's probably an hour before dark, and we look way off in the distance, and Scott actually spots a deer that's moving across, just kind of down in this, almost looks like a valley, just kind of a low spot down in there. I see him turn, and he starts heading up towards us. I thought, he's coming up here to this, to this live oak tree. He's fixing to get him out of these acorns. I, I know I know he's coming this way. You know, as this deer starts getting closer, it's time for me to make my move. You know, get everything in position to take a shot. And actually what I had to do, this deer was, was off to my left and I had uh, shooting sticks in the stand with me because I wasn't sure how long a shot I was gonna have to make. You know, with that muzzle loader, I mean, I was comfortable 150 yards. You know, I felt like I could make a good shot. But I needed a good brace, you know, something to rest my gun on and, and really feel steady. So I had to take my shooting sticks and set them on the limb that's outside of my ladder stand that I was sitting in. I got them set up, I get my gun, I'm raising it up, and you know, like always, you know, deer stop and they'll look around, just check, you know, and you're frozen, you're like, oh, I can't move, I can't move. I finally get my gun up on the shooting sticks and I'm thinking, man, I don't know how this is going to work. I'm, Got my shooting sticks on the limb. I'm hanging out here. He's not looking at us. He's just facing forward. You know, kind of got his head down. And no shot. You know, you, I want a broadside shot. You know, quartering a little bit to you, a little bit away is fine, but not that straight on shot or not the straight away shot. You know, I want a good lethal shot that I can make. Well, finally this deer, he turns. He's perfect. He's broadside. Smokes out there dropping acorns. He was a hair quartering to me, but I, I hit him in the front shoulder pretty good. I think I made a good shot. <sighs> First deer <sighs> with a new Thompson Center strike muzzle loader. If you guys don't muzzle loader hunt, you need to try it. It is a blast, just a different kind of rush than hunting with a rifle. Thank you, Scott. That was awesome. I think I made a good shot, but I'm gonna go ahead and reload this gun. And uh, just better be safe than sorry. These quick loads make it a lot easier. You know, everybody knows muzzle loaders back in the old days, the old flintlock days where, you know, they're putting powder on a plate up here and almost like you're taking a match and lighting it to sort of shoot. Nowadays, it's totally different. I mean, 
everything's changed. The muzzle loaders, most of them are inline now. Use a 209 primer, which is a bigger primer, puts more fire through there to ignite that powder, and extremely accurate. 150 yards is no problem with a muzzle loader. He was standing right down here, right on the other side of this dead tree. Sometimes you can make a good shot, and they may run 50 or 100 yards before they ever start bleeding. Sometimes they don't even bleed. Hey, look right there. Right there he is. <laughs> Bear down, baby, we got him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. Tell you what. Always remember to on these muzzle loaders. If you ain't hunting, keep that primer out of them. Oh, yeah. Look at there. That is a nice buck right there. The wide rack. He's eight point. Just a, I mean, all around good deer. I am tickled with him. You know, sometimes you shoot one, you got ground shrinkage, you know, ah, oh, he wasn't as big as I thought. And sometimes you get down there like, oh, this one, bigger than what I thought. Definitely not a giant deer. I mean, I'm not gonna try to tell you he's a 170 inch deer or nothing, but a great deer. Eight point, you know, it's probably about 18 inches wide. Just, I mean, a beautiful, beautiful deer. And I was excited to get him. That's a nice deer. On top of that, my first one with a TC Strike muzzle loader. To learn more about TC Strike muzzle loader and other great American made quality firearms, go to tcarms.com. Stick around and see what's cooking in the Bradley Smoker. Coming up next. Kobe kayaks provide the ultimate lightweight fishing platforms that will offer anyone what they want when it comes time to hit the water. Hobie Kayak's commitment to innovation, quality, and owner satisfaction is unparalleled in the industry. So when it's time for you to go kayaking, remember there's only one name to remember, and that's Hobie Kayak. performance cooler. It's incredible. Just look at this lid. What a powerhouse. It's so freaking strong. So reliable. I just want to boom. This silicone gasket's better than rubber. Why, hello there. Are your base and side walls way thicker for superior insulation? Oh, yes. After 10 days, still cold, still fresh. Let's hear Yeti do that. With angle coolers, it's official. The Yeti is busted. When I talk about Sunline, I think of one word, confidence. Sunline FX2 is what I use for all of my frogging and flipping. SX1 braid, which braid plays a little big part in, uh, in fishing line. Shooter, I'm gonna use in those close quarter deals, like flipping and pitching. One of my favorite techniques in fishing the tournament trail is to fish offshore ledges. We have taken the, the questions out of the equation. Take my word for it. It works, it works, dude. There's two things between an angler and the fish, the sun and the bugs. Sawyer's line of sunscreens and bug sprays keep you focused on the fish. Sawyer's Stay Put Sunscreen Formula bonds with your skin for a more comfortable and better level protection. And Picaridin Insect Repellent will only harm the bugs, never your fishing gear. Also, Sawyer Permethrin repels and kills on contact over 55 species of insects. You're already outdoors. Sawyer keeps you there. 
Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin has been brought to you by Do All Outdoors, Conquest Sense, Hunting and Dog Training Sense, and by Smith & Wesson, made in the USA since 1852. All right, so today we um, decided to take the redfish that Wade brought us and add a Cajun flair to it. So we're out here, we're gonna preheat our Bradley smoker and then we're gonna go inside and prepare our fish. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through how easy this is. Uh, you hit the on button on the smoker, then you hit your oven on like that. Um, you, then you adjust whatever level you want your temperature to be. Like, like we want it to be at like 240. So we're gonna drop it down because whenever you're doing fish, you don't want to cook it too hot. And we're going to keep it right there, and that's it. My daughter does it all the time. <laughs> now we're going to go inside and prepare our redfish. Well, we normally just pull it out of the bag. We rinse it off to get any kind of unwanted juices we don't want on there. Haley, how about you come over and take this over there? So since my mom loves Cajun food, we came up with this recipe with redfish with um, Cajun seasoning to have a Cajun flair to it. And I use real butter. <laughs> Some people use fake butter, but no. It's not allowed here. Now we go to our Bradley smoker to smoke it for two hours, and it's nothing but perfection. Before Wade ever brought the Bradley smoker home, I didn't really even think anything of it, but uh, I started smoking doves, and I tell you what, like Wade used to overcook our doves and burn the bacon, and I thought, oh my God. Okay, so when I first smoked doves in the smoker, I was hooked. The advantages of the Bradley smoker is that you just cannot overcook the food. It just, the flavors, all the briskets that you could use, it's just wonderful. I had Haley, my daughter, She's been in the kitchen with me since I can't remember. She always has since she was itty bitty. I have memories of her just, you know, I would put her on the counter while I was cooking and she would have to put her finger into everything I would cook, so. <laughs> I love having her in the kitchen with me. I enjoy hanging out with my mom cooking because we get along really well. We're like best friends and it's always fun being with her in the kitchen. We always crack jokes and laugh and just have a good time. Here's a finished product of the fish from the Bradley Smoker. Another wonderful creation. So I have made Cajun rice. We start off with some rice and then I come back and put the lovely fish. I just cut into there. Thank you, sweetheart. And just load it on top of there. I don't grab the, the skin at all, yeah. And then I go back to get the shrimp creole sauce. And just follow it up with some French bread, because French bread and Cajun food goes so well together. Soak up all those juices. There you have it, Haley. This is how easy it is to use the Bradley smoker. And that's the catch of the day. <laughs> yes. Win a red fishing trip for two in Venice, Louisiana with Americana Outdoor staff member Cody Levy. Fly into New Orleans for a one-day guided trip out of the world-famous Venice Fishing Lodge for a day of fighting bull redfish. The fishing excursion for two will take place in August of 2016 and will be filmed for future episodes of Americana Outdoors. So sign up today at AmericanaOutdoors.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Americana Outdoors. Americana Outdoors is a CareCo TV production.